Hey everyone, Dr. Derek here. Uh, coming at you before my clinic day today uh, to you know announce uh, I, I'm re-initiating uh, my my fasting protocol um, that I've been absent from for about a year. All right, and I want to explain you know why I took a year off of fasting, and if you followed our content before, or if you're a patient of ours, you know, I'm a big fan, a big proponent. And, um, you know, for probably the last couple of years, I've executed three to four fasts a year, um, usually three to five or six days in duration. Uh, I personally gravitate towards just doing a water fast, though, some of those early on ones were based around prolon. And for me personally, the, the fasting is a part of, you know, the toolbox that I use for my metabolic health, uh, inflammatory control. Uh, I do it for the, you know, uh, the longevity benefits that are, that are seen in all the studies. And you know, it's not particularly for me to, to lose weight, um, but I do like its effect on um, kind of resetting, you know, putting a little challenge into my quarter. Um, but just with that, that's exactly the reason why I had to take a break. So 2020 and rolling into 2021 uh, has been a pretty intense year for everybody, um, and me included, you know, uh, running a small business through all of this has been, uh, has had its ups and downs. And then of course, you know, I'm amongst, um, the rest of you in society that's just been kind of impacted by the changes in society, the world that COVID has, um, kind of brought upon us. And, you know, my last fast was almost, almost a year to the day. And like since then, I, I literally have just like not had the mental capacity to try to, or to willingly take on another stressor, another hurdle, uh, another thing that has, that demands my attention and demands my energy it felt, it just felt too much. And I kept checking in with myself, you know, every month or so, like, is now an okay time? Is now an okay time? And, you know, it just felt like every time I did that, there was, there was kind of another little fire we're putting out. Um, another thing on the plate, instability, whether that was of just the general ecosystem, whether that was, <clears throat> you know, re-navigating, you know, procedures and efforts at the clinic, um, whether that was, you know, reaching out to reestablish care or, you know, be of service to friends and family who have you know, a lot of questions during this time as well. So it just, every time I would check in, it just felt like, I, I don't think I have the space for it. I don't think I have the space for it. And I tried my best to like honor that. Um, because yeah, while I want to be, you know, the fasting guy, I do it. I love it. Uh, and I live it, but within that same framework, um, uh, one of the messages that I always try to get across to my patients is like, it's all about balance and you can't like put your, push yourself past what you're going to be able to navigate in like a healthful man manner. Like, is it really wise to do something like that when it feels like it's pushing your limits? And, and I would argue, no, it doesn't make it a less useful tool. It's just, it's like a big one. And certain pieces need to be in place to be successful at that. And I didn't want to have to like white knuckle through it because, you know, I told 
my followers or I told my patients that I was going to do it or I told myself that I was going to do it. I didn't want to have to like white knuckle through it because I wouldn't give my patients that advice. I'd say, stop, eat. But also, you know, I'd like to be successful. And so for me, kind of balancing that was just putting it on pause. And now I think I can unpush the pause button. I think we can play again. So I'm uh, starting Memorial Day, which I believe is the 31st. I'm not great with holidays. It, it, I'm going to restart a fasting week. So I'll be re-engaging in our uh, Revive Your Health Facebook group just to, um, you know, drop a line that we're back. You know, uh, I know we had a fun crew in there that was uh, pushing themselves as well to re-engage, re uh, initiate and keep a kind of routine fasting guide. Like maybe you guys have been better at it than I have. Um, you know, all along this time, I've, I've definitely kept my time-restricted eating up. That That is almost... Uh, a habit five to six days out of the week um, works with my schedule, works with my life, works with my hunger. But uh, we're going to push the envelope for myself for this week. So if you found yourself in the same boat, um, having to put a pause on some things, especially this during COVID, if the ice is thawed enough for you and you'd like to engage or re-engage in, you know, some fasting that you've done <clears throat> or played with in the past or haven't tried at all, uh, make sure to request to join our Revive Your Health Facebook group. Uh, if you like my page, Doc Derek, um, you should be able to see the group there and we can get an invite to you. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little nervous this time, but I'm looking forward to it. I, I think that um, I'm well overdue but for good reason. And, you know, if you're in the same boat of, you know, having to put a pause on something and maybe that was a certain exercise routine you were getting into. Maybe it was your meditation. Maybe it was putting your phone down. Um, maybe it was picking it up too early. Um, maybe it was eating lunch at your desk instead of going outside. Um, you know, this, we'll call it a fasting week, right? It doesn't have to be fasting. It can be about re-engaging and reviving that kind of piece of your health that maybe fell by the wayside. It's a ping as a reminder to to get back at it. So for me, it's going to be a fast. Um, and I'll challenge you to, you know, revive and refresh a piece that you maybe lost over the last chunk of time that served a role, whatever that might be. Maybe you're ready for it and just needed kind of a kick in the pants. So here's the kick in the pants. Um, I hope you will join me, whether silently or, or in a Facebook group, more publicly though, um, to each their own, right? Um, feels like the right time. So um, that is why I took a year off from fasting. I've not fallen out of love with it. I still love it. They'll still think it's uh, of great utility and I'm looking forward to getting back into it uh, in a headspace that is ready to digest it or maybe not digest it, I guess. Um, thanks guys. Uh, and good luck. Remember to join our revive your health group. Um, go on to Facebook and like uh, my doc Derek page. Uh, in that you can request to join our group, which is the Revive Your Health group. And uh, that's where we have collected, um, you know, some of our people who are interested in fasting, interested in time-restricted eating or intermittent fasting or prolon. And if all those terms are foreign to you, check out our YouTube series on fasting. Um, get the book, The Complete Guide to Fasting by Jason Fung. It's a wonderful book, a really great introduction. And come join us. We'd be happy to have you. All right, have a great day.